What's up, everybody? I'm going to get right into it, because this is the mobile suit that I've been most excited to build so far out of the orders, of, out of the kit order that I just did, out of the five I just got. Here it is. This is the mobile suit Gundam Sinaju. This is the OVA version, which is different than the Ka version. Uh, the main differences are the inner frame. This is the poly frame. The Ka has the ABS. This has the bazooka, the Ka doesn't. Um, people tend to like the color on the OVA better because it doesn't look as plasticky as the version Ka. Uh, but as far as the frame, you would think with giving you the extra added weight in the bazooka, they would have stuck with the frame, but obviously they had to cut corners anywhere. Uh, let's get into the box art, because a lot of people say this has the best box art. And, uh can't really dispute that it I mean it's kind of so good looking that it's intimidating like seriously I took this out of the box out of the shipping box that came in and I had to put it back because I got scared like I literally like I kind of wet myself you know I just I mean I just I mean I was scared I was like I'm not ready for this how to schedule you know a therapist got a little counseling going on because I just I wasn't ready for it but now I am because now I'm ready to build it, and I'm jumping up out of my seat. So let's get into it, because the sooner, the faster I do this, is the faster I can watch, uh, but the faster I can build this baby. So this is from Gundam Unicorn, of course. This is, uh, Frofron is the pilot, and here is some of the box on the side. Look at that beauty. Sinaju Neo Zeon customized. For a new type. There it is. Of course, there's all the weapons. The beam tanfa, the beam saber, the the beam na 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 naginata, naginata, <laughs> and the beam axes. And uh, I went all out for this mobile suit. Uh, and by that I mean I even went ahead and bought this. Which is the action base that is the Shinaji specific base. And uh, I'm not going to unpackage this. But I will build it and then show it to you guys. Or maybe I will unbox it and build it for you. Or unpackage it, I guess. It's not really in a box. So this is from Gundam Unicorn, of course. Uh, I'm very partial to Red Gundams, as you know. Char being my favorite character for from being the second coming of Char. Let's try to get the box open. Or as they say, I'm only four episodes into Unicorn out of the, I believe, eight. I believe. I believe it was only supposed to be seven, but they announced that there's going to be an eighth one. We're going right into it. Got some of the gold foil stickers. There's the watermarks right there. Watermarks. We got what looks to be the head pieces and the vents. We got some of the connected parts. We got the fuel tanks. We got some of the wing backpack and leg parts right here. We got some more of the foil stickers. Really like the gold. Really, really, really like the the gold. I really love it. This looks like parts to the bazooka too, along with the legs. Uh, you got the coil springs right there, along with more bazooka parts. It looks like in our frame parts, leg parts. It looks like. This is probably going to be a more difficult build, just because of all the stuff that comes onto this mobile suit. And I'm pretty excited for that. I love the more difficult builds. There's some more stickers. A lot of stickers on this mobile suit. Oh, and that's one thing. Uh, if you ever built a version car, I've never built one, but I know, and I'll let you guys know if you don't know, and the version car has stickers upon stickers upon stickers. Like, there's a lot of stickers in this kit, but there's... At least twice as more stickers in the version car. Not so long with every version car. I didn't want to get the version car, you know, 
I was sitting there trying to decide what one do I want. Well, hold on, I'll tell you that in a second. Here's some more beam parts, uh, the beam savers, and uh, what have you, some more interfan parts. And so I was sitting there trying to decide, should I get the OVA version or should I get the version cop? And logically, the looks of this mostly, I mean, just look at it, you have to go with both. I'm going to go with both. I'm gonna go with both, and uh, my music started playing there. If you could hear that, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with both. I had to go with both, and if I like them both as much as I think I'm gonna like them, I might even go get the version cost Stein, which is the white one, which I believe they have a picture in here. So let's count the packages of runners for you. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 packages, everyone has 14 packages all together to count the separate stickers, so let's go into the manual, count how many, uh, how many runs there are all together, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Runners all together. You start off at the body. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot, but not a lot. I don't know. This has the fully articulated fingers, which I believe every kit should have, but that's going to be a false wish because that will probably never come true. But it should. Every kit should have full articulated fingers. Just my opinion. You got the legs, a lot of leg work, I would presume, because the legs are very detailed on this kit. Here you go, you got the backstory along with the paints to get, the paints with the little figure, the different poses you could do. Here's the white Sanaju, if you can see it. No, I was talking about, so I might get that. I'm gonna get the version Ka red Sanaju for sure. And uh, the Zabi, this, the Sanaju is based off the Zabi, if you don't know, the Zabi was the Gundam that Shardy used in uh, the Counter-Attack movie. Uh, they're making a Ka Zabi, as I believe I read, and I'm going to tell you right now, that's my next most anticipated kit of the year. I can't wait for that. I want the original Zobby, but it's a little too pricey for me, but I'm probably going to sp spin out and get it along with the Ka. I'll probably order the version Ka Sanaju off of uh, Gundam Planet, because I can't find it on Amazon for a decent price. Then I'll probably get the original Zobby too, if they have it. So there you go. There's all the pieces. All of it's beautiful. This I can't wait, man. I just look at it. I mean, just it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful mobile suit. It's such a beautiful kit. I can't wait to build it. I'll let you guys know. I'll review it for you guys, uh, of course. Uh, please subscribe. Please like. Please, uh, please comment. Uh, please watch all my other all my older videos, especially the video that says uh, what I want out of my YouTube channel. That has a lot of interesting stuff of what I want out of my channel, of course, and uh, what I want to do in the future with more future videos. So here you go, here's all the pieces. Once again, there it is. There's just the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kit that this is gonna be. I can't wait, man. It's so beautiful. I mean, just, I mean, just take a deep breath and just take it all in, because I hardly can. I mean, look at it. The Sanaju is probably one of the best looking Gundams out of any Gundam series. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I went there. What do you want to do about it? Nothing exactly. That's what I thought. Just kidding. But no, I'm serious. I like this. It might... It's very close on edge of taking over my favorite mobile suit, which of course is Shars Zaku. And this is very close to taking it over. Frontfront will never take Shars place, but the Snodri might take the Zaku's place. I mean, just... It's intimidating, like I said, look at it. it. Just If I was a Gundam pilot and I saw this thing, I would just either switch to the team that that's on or just pretty much take my gun to my own cockpit and blow myself up because 
I would be that scared. Not even gonna lie. So once again, guys, thank you guys for watching. You guys are great. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. Uh, please share all my old videos. Please share this video. Watch out for the review, which I'll be doing here in about two days, because I'm not gonna start building this kit tonight, because it's getting er, late, or today, because it's getting. Er, I'm about to go to sleep, and it's six o'clock here. I work at night, so uh, yeah. So I'll start building this tonight after I get off. Thank you guys once again. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Please watch the video, like I said, that says uh, what I want on my YouTube page. Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe, like I said. You guys are awesome. You guys are the reason I'm doing this. Thank you guys so much.